Hey folks, this is Robert <laughs> with RetroBasic.com. Um, right now I've got on my screen a uh, computer program. Um, it's going to show all the drawing functions. And oh, by the way, Jeff, I've got the audio. Uh, this is my Canon camera. So there's tons of audio. You won't have to crank your television monitor all the way up to 65. For this video at least, it should be super amounts of audio. <laughs> and uh, this camera works better than the USB. I, I wish this Canon camera had a link straight to the computer because it would be awesome. Anyway, I'm going to run the program now and we are going to I'll quickly describe what's happening. It's all the graphical functions. Um, line, box, rectangle, circle, and filled circle. And also it's got uh, arrow key control at one point of one of the boxes. Um, so I'll run it right now. Okay, it's running. And I hit end. Um, it says to you got the best. Retro basic press any key. And then we're going to put bars on the sides. Now these bars go away real quick. But you see characters making up bars. Now three, hor three vertical lines, three horizontal lines drawn. Uh, just so quick, you can't even... Um, now I'm going to use the hide function. You see they hide them. And then they show them. And then there go the vertical lines with hide. And then they're back again. Um, now we are... Boy, one box blue, one box white, one red, one yellow. Then we have a blue line that's moving horizontally and a green one that's moving vertically. Um, automatic on timers. Um, and they'll continue to do that until you press stop on those. Um, then there's a pause here. Now the red box uh, is going to be under uh, arrow key control. Um, use arrow keys and spacebar to end that. Um, right now there's no way for it to go off the screen. If it enters the uh, edge of the screen it crashes the program. So I got a little bit more programming to do. But uh, this is an amazing amount of graphics. And there you see the box it goes up it goes down you're just using your arrow key I'm um, so at this point there is some programming in basic that you have to do but I'm considering making the box entity have a variable that automatically syncs with the arrow keys maybe you'd enter the maximum X and Y the minimum X and Y. oh here go the circles we uh, ha on the top there are uh, non-filled circles and on the bottom we have two filled circles and two blinking circles um, they can also change their size then we have the text boxes on the left five lines drawn at random on the screen and it is a lot of graphics um, it's about ready to end I think yeah there it's ended and there is just the graphics so those are the ones stored in the system uh, totally on their own basics not running now and it's just awesome so if you like all those features, RetroBasic.com, folks, uh, love to get you over there, get you into programming, um, and those those functions right there are easier to use than all of the other basics out there. You got Pure Basic, you got Just Basic, you got Liberty Basic, you got QB64. Um, they're all dependent on um, a lot of programming to get a circle and to move it with the arrow keys. Um, I'm going to make it as simple as possible and the nice thing is um, if you're a Patreon you just make comments on how you'd like things to work and I could make changes in the code uh, just for your use. I'll throw them in the user guide and uh, it'll be something cooked up by you. So uh, yeah I want to make this video quick so I'm going to end it. You guys have a great day and thanks for watching and Rob with Retro Basic signing off. Hey, folks.